also the Moore area that circulation moving over you guys and then back to the west back to the west is huge huge storm and look at this circulation back here in southwest Canadian County it is it is uh, southeast of Cedar Lake <sighs> Okay, there it is. Let's go go to Pathfinder. Tornado reporting. Tornado being reported west, probably west and north of Kogar. This is west southwest of Oklahoma City. This one will not affect Oklahoma City, but it is affecting the Kogar area down to Minko, probably Tuttle, Union City. And right now, that's the backside of this gigantic storm. Look at the velocities on that for me. Way to the it's west. Very intense. Uh, so east of Cedar Lake, south of El Reno Airport, and now it's moving due east there. So the, that at least is it's rotated northeastward a little bit. So it's uh, we'll call it southern section of Canadian County, northern Caddo, northern Grady County. So Kogar, Cedar Lake, Union City, maybe parts of South El Reno, El Reno Airport, down to Minko and Tuttle. Everybody clear on that? Where that is? Hey, we need Pathfinder up there. That's what we're talking about here, guys. Pathfinder. It's near Gary Snow, Red Rock. Pathfinder. Road. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Southeast of Cedar Lake. So I'm going to mention these towns. Cedar Lake, down to Kogar, yeah. uh, Minko, Tuttle, Union City, and southern sections of El Reno. So on that storm, very wrapped up. I show it near Red Rock Road, Gary. Red Rock Road, okay. And a Calumet Road, and also a Courtney Road. Courtney Road. You guys out that That's way know where that is? So keep that in mind. So we have the tornado possibly there, and it looks like there is for sure. Uh, so you guys all through there, Kogar, Union City, Minko, Tuttle, a little bit later, best time be prepared to take your tornado precautions. I think this thing is going to move a little more to the southeast. As soon as I said that a minute ago, it moved due east. So they've been doing that uh, down near Tuttle. We have an interesting feature we're watching there. Uh, the stuff west of Moore. How about the stuff southwest of Moore on okay. the velocity? Hey, Gary, Please. one thing. Uh, more it's more police officers say rotation just went over City Hall and power is out on the east side of Moore now. Okay. Rotation went right over City Hall. Okay. Tom and Rob, and that's still, that's still down in Norman. Okay. Let, let's go to uh, Jim. Jim Gardner, Bob Mills County News 9. Go ahead. Well, Gary, right now we're looping back around here, kind of uh, going back to the south, the uh, east. We're just at the northwest tip of Lake Thunderbird shooting back. I mean, I mean this this storm is just unbelievably uh, huge. I mean, it's just... 34th and Santa Fe, 34th and Santa Fe and more being told to take cover immediately. 34th and Santa Fe and more are saying take your tornado precautions. That's coming out of... The more, more police. More police. So in the more area... And that's just south of Oklahoma City. Take your immediate tornado precautions. That'd be probably eastern sections. Let's call it central and eastern more. Maybe the whole place, the way it looks. There's circulation there, and there's a very interesting feature, a threatening feature back to the southwest of Moore. So, Jim, you able to help us on this at all? Yep. Uh, there and everything, but right now I haven't seen any evidence of any more power flashes, and that can just be because all the power is already gone. But uh, still, a very, very dangerous storm as it moves to the east here, Gary. But like I said, we're looping back around. Uh, to the southwest to maybe uh, look at some other stuff back over here. and We'll keep you updated. Jim Garner reporting live from Bob Mills, Sky News 9, back to you. Okay, Northwest 12th and Walker. As we look at this, uh, we see where Moore is. The interesting, uh, the one storm moved east there, east of I-35, had a circulation with it. And back to the southwest, uh, there's quite a bit of circulation with it, too. Uh, the area of Midwest City or Dell City, Tinker is right in the very close to the radar. It's very difficult to see exactly what's going on there. But we do have this feature right in here, South Dell City, Tanker, Midwest City, not receiving reports of a tornado on the ground there, but tornado warning does continue for there. We're losing or have lost a lot, a lot of electricity around. Uh, let's take a look at Norman Cam again. And we're looking at that wall cloud. And I, what direction are we looking at? Hey, Jed, Jed, what direction are you looking on this sky? West. Looking northwest, that's Interstate 35 coming into that diagonal there. Uh, that is most likely a big wall cloud. That's the one that's probably coming in toward Moore, Westmore. Uh, it's huge. Go ahead, Kelly. 35 at 19th Street in Moore. This is almost just right where the tornado passed through on the 20th. And they closed down I-35 northbound at Indian Hills Road. We're looking in that area with our Norman camp. We don't see, I mean, we don't see any uh, tornadoes that are there, but there is a lot of rotation in, in the radar. And there's a lot of loose debris down there yeah, that can be kicked right. up. Well, this new feature is along uh, very close to Highway 37. It's along 
Uh, it's north 12, a little south of north 12th and more, and then it switches over to Oklahoma City notation, southwest 149th, south 164th. It's moving down toward Indian Hills Road, uh, due south of Moore. Same thing with Franklin Road, Tecumseh Road, Rock Creek Road, and moving toward Max Westheimer Field. So we continue uh, with the threat of a tornado with this storm in the Moore area. Go ahead. West of Gary Air Force Base. This Go ahead. Is Alan. Go ahead. Go ahead, Alan. This is, this is Alan. I have a funnel over Tinker Air Force Base. It looks like it's probably going to be about 74th, uh, 59th. At home, Douglas, and it's to my southwest. I, I it's there and it's wrapped in rain, but I can see it. I've got the video on right now. It's uh, it's crossing over Tinker Air Force Base. Stream. We're, we're waiting for 80, 80 mile per hour back feeding into it. 80 mile per hour wind inflow into the storm over the circulation over Tinker Air Force Base Storm yes. Action 2. There it is right there. The, all right, talk us through this thing. Go ahead, Alan. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cross face into the storm. It's, uh, I've got 80 mile per hour winds. It's uh, on the east side of Tinker Air Force Base now. I'm on Douglas Boulevard. I see you. I got you. Okay, it's, uh, I've got... I've got Police trying to block the, the way up there so nobody can go south, but it looks like it's about 59th Street to 74th Street, and it is moving east, southeast. Okay, we can see uh, where you are, Alan, on Moar, and you're, the, the circulation is your southwest over Tinker Air Force Base, and we're yes. looking. Uh, it's dropping Tinker Air Force right. Base now. 100 mile per hour, over 100 mile per hour inbound winds at Air Depot. Okay, he was just uh, long I-240. Uh, I yeah, that would be about right, about, about 74th Street, I-240. Douglas, where he's yeah. at. It and it's, uh, it's crossing Douglas right, or Douglas right now. Yep, yep. That's it. It's crossing Douglas. Here it is, right here. I think it's developing right here, where he's talking about. Um, yep. That is... Uh, Alan, are you at I-240? No, I'm, uh, he's, I'm he's, probably about uh, 44th Street, roughly. He's okay. south. Looking, he's, looking straight south now. Right, right. Yep, okay. the, we, we have the center of it okay. at uh, 240. Look at that. Yeah, and then my That's a huge. I have fire flashes, Gary. At, uh, Jim Gardner? It's on the ground as large as it was. Let's take this guy who's uh, as he talks about it. Go ahead. Go, go ahead, uh, Alan. Tell us uh, what's happening over Tinker Air Force Base. Uh, we see okay, the big it's, cone. It's cleared, it's cleared Tinker Air Force Base. The big cone is, is now east of Douglas. And... Uh, Gosh, I'm trying to see it again. It's wrapping up in rain again. So this it, it looks like it's moving down 240. This is a bad situation. The people can't see it. They can't see it until it's on. I was, I was within about a mile, mile and a half before it emerged. Very, very bad. Yeah, right down toward North okay, we've got, got a strong circulation moving in, you know, to West, Westmore, the Moore area. It'll be going on down toward Norman, so you guys know and be alert. In fact, we can look at uh, our Norman cam. I think it's on Storm Action 7, and that's the wall cloud, uh, one, of the, one of the wall clouds. We have many circulations. They're getting pretty close to impossible to track now. It's basically at dark. But that's the wall cloud. It'll be moving toward North, North Norman. So you guys down there stay alert. We have this one uh, tornado that's wrapping up and is going over the Tinker Air Force Base area, hopefully not touching down. Uh, Alan, Alan Brosey is right there with us. Alan, you still uh, on the phone? I, I'm with you, Gary. I can't see it. Uh, my my winds are from the Northwest now feeding into it, wrapping around it. Uh, I'm going to try to get a little bit of vantage point, Gary? too, but it's, I don't want to get too close to it. It's, it's big. Gary, this is Al. Go ahead, Val. Yes, we, uh, we're at Indian Hills Road and I-35, and we have a rotating wall cloud right over the north part of Norman. We, uh, we had a, a funnel with it just a little earlier, but it's rotating strongly, and it is, uh, it's just passing over I-35 to our north, about a mile, and it's moving off to the east or the east-southeast. And we are at Indian Hills Road, and we're looking north-northeast at it right now. It just passed over I-35, and it's moving over the north part of Norman, Gary. Okay. Yeah, hey, Gary. Mike, you're going to need to do a projection for me from there down. Right over I-35 in front of Lowe's at 19th Street. More police confirming what Val's seeing. Say it again. I-35 right in front of Lowe's at 19th Street and more circulation passing right over it. Okay. If they'll take Val's... Look at that debris. Take, take Val's Gary, video. Storm debris. Action 1. Storm Action 1. Hey, we're getting debris flying. Uh, zoom up on that debris. There's debris just to the west of I-35. I don't, I don't know if there's a funnel above it, but there's such strong west winds. There's stuff blowing through the air. There it goes again. I don't know what that is. There's sheets of tin or something. You see that blowing in the wind? Well, Val, there's a, there's a tornadic circulation near there. But uh, this wall cloud...
There is a power flash right fire. You guys uh, us, in South Moore and also the Norman area should uh, complete your tornado precautions. Yeah. I know in Moore you probably already have, but this thing is headed down toward Norman. The bad thing about this, Gary, is I-35 is crawling. It's be packed with cars. The access road to I-35, people are going both ways down it uh, to the south. People just trying to leave as fast as they can. They're not going to make it. I mean... Uh, if this thing has passed over I-35 for the most part right here, Gary. That's actually a hook echo. Val, we have... Because we are at uh, Indian Hills Road and I-35, just to the east of I-35 and northeast of my location, about probably a mile or so. So the circulation is... Gary, this has got to be over near 19th and uh, Eastern right now in that area. It's oh, just past I-35, so it would be 19th uh, near between Broadway and Eastern and more. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty close. I mean, from my vantage point, Kelly, it looked like it might be a little south of that. Uh, almost looks like it might be between 19th and uh, between 19th and, and 34th Street, but it's definitely east of Northwest 24th. Uh, okay. I would say very, very near Broadway Street. Yeah, okay. Okay. Broadway and Franklin. Okay. Val's right on, Val, you're right on in, Indian Hills Road, a little west of Interstate 35. Right. So you guys live along Franklin Road, dropping right on down into North Norman, Tecumseh Road. It's, this thing is headed your way. And we have a uh, circulation on there. We have we've had some power line flashes with this. And it is not as strong as the previous ones today, but it is there. So uh, I, if, if I lived in Norman, I'd go ahead and take my tornado precautions just as a precaution, all right? We're going to finally make it down to West Robinson Street, Robinson Street. The southern edge of it, or leading edge of it, is about at Franklin Road now as far as the wall cloud. So that is one, two, three miles from Robinson Street, which is North Norman. So down that way, just be alert. Uh, on, on Pathfinder, there's the, there's the time of arrival. It's a kind of a broad one, you know. And also, we continue to see uh, more than one rotation, and one's right near I-240 and 40. Another one is uh, moving up New Walla area, but the one moving toward Norman, Rock Creek Road, Max Westheimer, Norman Regional Hospital at 812, Norman 814, OU 816, Noble 831, Thunderbird 835. So that's on that particular storm moving to the southeast. And let's see, this storm goes all the way back. If you take a look at Storm Shield, we still have a tornado indicated west of Minko. That's out in this area here. It's uh, west of the Oklahoma City area. So there's, we have still have a circulation in the vicinity of Kogar between Kogar and Minko. Minko. Another one that stands out, and they're not quite like they were earlier today, but there's a circulation right here, very close to Interstate 35, getting ready to move into North Norman. Probably going to be some wind damage in Norman, the way it looks at this time. And then right along... Uh, just just a little, well, just we'll call it, we hope it was just east of Tinker, continuing with the circulation east of Tinker now, and Tinker's there on 240, and there's probably other ones that are just not showing up, but it is a major, major supercell. Only other storm in the state, I know a lot of you always like to know what's going on elsewhere, that's it. Creek County, told, that's Tulsa's responsibility, so ours is this area here. And it's probably going to last quite some time. Movement appears to be very slow. I would think that these rainfall rates, flooding may become a problem. So we have to watch that very carefully. So let's check in. David Payne. David, go ahead. Hi, Gary. Again, we are uh, east of Tinker Air Force Base. And uh, we were looking at what Alan was talking about a few minutes ago. And we had some spin. It really coming right down I-240. And uh, the, the spin was pretty impressive there, but uh, we didn't see any power flashes. But no doubt about it, you could see the lowering as it was coming across uh, I-240 east of Tinker. And uh, it's a low-hanging mess. I mean, this thing is turning. Like I said, there's so many areas that are rotating. But uh, this area was turning, but we did not see any power flashes. And it was just a few miles behind yeah. us back here. We're, we're marching okay. east, and we're going to head south. Gary, back to you. Okay, Gary, thanks, sir. Go ahead, Alan. I'm at 59th and South Anderson Road. The, the tornadic storm is to my southeast. It looks like it's on 240, can still continuing, maybe slightly to the south of 240, probably a mile to two miles to the east of Anderson. It's still wrapped up. It's still wrapped tight. I've got, uh, I had power flashes in this area just a few moments ago. Stand by. Let me tell you, 240 east is jammed with hundreds and hundreds of cars. Yeah, 240 and then I-40. They're jammed. Don't try them. If you're coming from the east, stop at Shawnee. If you're coming from the west, don't go east. Just put it that way. It looks Let's like a very large wall cloud there in David, uh, David's shot. 